Okay, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Just off of a special daf today, Ksubus number 100. Daf Kuf, amazing, 100 daf. It's really a special occasion. Machayim, my coffee over here. You think it's coffee? You think it's hard alcohol? It's up for you to decide. No, it's really coffee. Um. <clears throat> I've been noticing, noticing, noticing this phenomenon that people, you know, podcasts are becoming very popular these days, you know, so all sorts of people are getting interviewed, you know, <clears throat> sharing their feelings. Some of them are not so comfortable in front of a camera, so not just not just podcasts, sometimes people on shows I've been seeing this, um, they take a drink or two before they go on, or some of them tell you, I have a cup. But I'm not going to tell you what's in it. I eat <laughs> some hard alcohol, some alcoholic drink to make them feel a little calmer. Because really, it's very frightening to get up in front of the camera. Everyone can see you. They can see your facial reactions, your words. It's scary. Okay, I'm not drinking anything. It was funny, you know. I put out a video on Purim. I dressed up as a farmer this past perm, Shemitah, and I had a good idea, you know, I'll buy some vegetables in the local grocery store and go around instead of, you know, <clears throat> collecting matanas that you know, money, I would collect vegetables from my fellow farmers, or I'd give them a shloch manos of vegetables, you know, farmer, I thought, and I had a whole song, that ikar veha ikar veha ikar. Lo lefachet, lo lefachet klal. Yeah, I know I sound like Shalom Lemmer. But Iker lo lefachet klal. Uh, the farmer. Farm, Iker also means farmer. Aleph yud kofresh. Iker lo lefachet klal. You shouldn't have any fear during Shemitah. Hashem will take care of you. I'll take care of you by collecting my tunnels of yonim of vegetables for you um, during the year of Shemitah. <laughs> Anyways, I had a um, fun time perm. So one person who saw me going around with this box of vegetables. I said, wow, this guy had a lot to drink early. And my wife, you know, she said, yeah, he had a lot to drink. But anyone who knows me knows that that's the way I act all the time. For every day of the year is perm for me. When we learn with of the Dharam next, and I have a lot of fun in store for you. Uh, the Dapa and Masechus the Dharam are very short. So it will take me about 10 minutes to give every shear approximately. So I have some extra time. So we're going to have the first five minutes dedicated, five, six, seven minutes dedicated to entertainment, pure entertainment. I'm going to put on some different costumes. I'm going to offer some different drinks because, you know, I work as a moonlight as a bartender. So it's going to be really exciting. Just have some the dark You're not going to want to miss it. Let's get into it. The bottom, Sadi Tanam and Bez. Subos, the Mishnah, Friday morning, getting short of the Fridays. <clears throat> My daughter said to me, I said, I got to give shirim today. She said, how many shirim are you giving? I said, I'm giving four shirim today. Said, Don't give so many shirim today, Tati. I said, how many should you give? She said, give two shirim. Well, Tibia, my daughter, I'm not listening to you. I'm going to give four shirim because I have a massive schedule. All right, the Mishnah says, Shuma de'yanim shepichsu shtus o yosifu shtus. Here we're talking about where Dayanim, a based in, you could also say nowadays a bank forecloses on a property, or something like that. They evaluate a house. We're going to see it means they actually auction off the house. Now there's a fair market value for every, uh, for every house or for every piece of real estate. Um, they decided to sell it for a six less or a six more. Mechron Botel, that's generally the clone for Ono. Oh um, the sale is, is void, even though we said by Karkos there's no no. But here it's not the person who is owns the land, right? It's it's someone who's selling on behalf of somebody else, so therefore the dinam of no would apply. Rashun Galil argues, I want Mechan Kayim. It doesn't make a difference. It would be Kayim. based in Yafa. The fact that based is acting as an agent to foreclose on this property, to sell it sell it for you. So therefore they get a little leeway. Avali Masu Igaris Bikoris been now based in bank composed of Dayanim from bank. And also with Garris Bikoris Benayim, they hired a professional appraiser, an appraiser to evaluate the property. I feel Makhrushava Mana Masayim, Mashava Masayim Mana, Mechar and Kayim. 
even though let's say the market value was double what the appraisal is, right? The appraisal uh, usually is based on you know current uh, real estate pricing. Pricing. Um, however, if they already did that appraisal, uh, official appraiser, I guess, is a professional appraiser, and he evaluated the house. So even if they sold it for half the price or double the price, it would still be good. We'll talk more about this in the Gemara. The Gemara says, "Dibaylu shliach kaman shliach." An agent. Now, who is this agent? Right? Are we talking about a real estate agent? Are we talking about some regular person that, you know, the widow is in charge of selling the property? She appoints somebody else who's not an official real estate agent. Come on. Who does he have the din like? Rav Amar of Nachman, top of Kufman Aleph, Shliach Kedayonim. The Shliach has the official status, Dayonim, meaning like the Chukat, we're going to pass in the Chum. Some say that they have leeway of up until a sixth or greater than a sixth, uh, meaning up until a sixth less or up until a sixth more. If it's a sixth more or six less, then it's batel, but less than that, it's okay. So you should have the they have a little bit, a little bit of leeway. Rav Shmuel, Bar Bisna, Amar Rav Nachman, Kalmana. He says they're like an almana. We saw yesterday on the, uh, the daft that almana always could say that let's kune shadarti abusi. Right, an almana when she sells a property, the Mishnah said before, not only right not only when she says a shliach, but even if she sells it herself, she tries to sell a property that's worth hundred and one dollars for hundred dollars, uh, it's an invalid sale. She can't do that. Even a little bit off is a problem. Rav Amar Rav Nachman the sale is bottle. Rav Amar Rav Nachman shliach dayanim. Rav of course Rav Nachman saying shliach dayanim. They have leeway until six. My dayanim allowed to do do. Actually, you can assume he's getting a fair price because he's not working on behalf of himself. She's selling for herself. Since she's selling for herself, so therefore we assume she's probably not happy um, even with a little bit of a wrong price. He says, no, like Almana, she sells for herself. A shliach is an individual. He's not comprised of at least three people. I think based on based on at least three people, the rabbim they know they're considered multiple people. The so the Gemara Paskin Shliach Kalmana the Shliach has the din of an almana, meaning even if the price is a little bit off, the sale is bought. Well, my Shnam and Hadas not. The Gemara says why is it different from that? Following we learned in a Mishnah in Masechas Truma. So Omer the Shluchah Sevet Trum. He says to his Shliach, you I, you know he has a big granary. He doesn't want to take up Truma and Meisel. He's a busy guy. He's writing out checks every day, one day to the mirror, one day to Panovich, one day to Yeshiva YouTube of Mansion Lang. So he's busy. He appoints a Shliach, they go his Trumos, save it Trom, Torim Kadas Balabayas. He has to estimate how much the Balabayas would give, right? We said normally an average person would give one fiftieth of his crop for Trumagdola, a generous person one fortieth, right? And a person who's not so generous would give one sixtieth. Uh, any <clears throat> day, doesn't know what the balabayas can't estimate it properly. Told him bebeinus, echad michamish. I mean, he has to go with the average. The average is one fifty. Pika dasaro, osiv asaro. Right? He added one tenth. He gave one fortieth, or he gave less than one tenth. He gave one sixty. The shumas and shumas, but the evidence is valid unless it's more or less than one tenth. Hasam. So therefore, you have a little leeway. The agent doesn't have to be exact. And hasam kevan the ika the torah ma'in yarav, arav ika the torah ma'in yafe. Right. Some people say, some people are generous, some people are very cheap. So therefore you can say, yeah, when I gave 140th or 160th, I thought that was your personality. Also, here, when the person appoints a shleach to sell their property in an auction, that's going to be important, when I added the word in an auction, right now it's going to be important to help me answer a question. In any with Ben Sion, which, which is really a steer up between this Gemara and yesterday's Gemara, so he sells it in an auction, a mistake. You sold it in an auction. You should have sold it at the fair price. Amr lo lo yibari la chlamiti. You shouldn't have made a mistake. Amr Ravuna bar Chinin. Amr Rav Nachman. Halacha the Rechamim. The halacha follows the Chachamim that up until a six, there's leeway. Once you hit a six more, a six plus, sells bottle. Rav Nachman, Amr Shmuel, you sold him the lacelets. The marks of lacelets. Rav Nachman, Mako, face and Yavah. Rishon Liels. Subscribe to the opinion that doesn't make a difference, even if it's one six or more than one six, less than he sell, they sell it for a price less than than a sixth of his value. Um, I mean, they missed the, the, the 
the price, they sell it for more than a sixth or less than a sixth uh, off of the value. So Rishon Lulis is Makok based in the We have to trust based in that Basin's getting involved. We can't, they can't be so exact. We have to let them have the power. Otherwise, why we give them power, even if they're not precise. So, <clears throat> the Gemara of questions is, Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman, how could he possibly come him? He should have possibly come him. This idea, this idea, this idea, this idea, this idea, this idea, we give Kovach to Basin, we can't be so precise with them. Amar Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman said, in the name of Shmuel, you so much about Allah, look, the next day of Vienna, Right, so my father dies. He has orphans that are dividing up the estate. Now, if they're katan and they're minors, they don't know what to pick. Based on does not have is based in appoints guardians for the asomim. Born them they split it in a fair way. Ideally, call them the muckles if they grow up and they're not happy with what they got. They can protest and they can retroactively reverse the decision of the based on Rambam did that. Rambam himself argues on Shmuel. I'm Rambam and you call them the muckles. They can't reject it. In came Makkoch based in the Why are we giving Koch the based in if it can be retroactively nullified? Where's the low cash? How the toe, how the low toe? Right? In the case where you're giving the Asomim, right? Rav Nachman says, In came Makkoch based in the Because they didn't make a mistake. Right? So therefore we trust what based in did. Here they made a mistake. They sold it for, right? Either more than a sixth of the price or less than a sixth. Uh, off from the price, so they made a mistake. So therefore, we can revert their decision. So the Mar says, "Idla to." If the case that he's talking about, they sold them dividing up their father's estate, they didn't make a mistake. Why you the What did the Chum hold? What did Shmuel hold that they could be mocha when they grow up? Baruchos. The Mar answers, they didn't make a mistake as to the price, as to they didn't give more value to one child over another child. However, they can say, "No, I want." my property, my real estate for my father to be on this side, on the field on this side of town or that side of town because that's closer to my, wherever my real estate holdings are. I want my property to be in one area. <clears throat> so the Gemara continues. There was an incident, Rebbe Paschal and Chamim. I guess it was one-sixth more or one-sixth less. He was Mavata of the sale. I'm a fan of Parta, Benosha Elizabeth Parta. Parta, who is the son of Elizabeth Parta, Parta Godel, his grandfather, who he was named after probably, was Parta Godel. M K Makov based in Yafa. Why are you passing the Khamim? The Hekza Rebbe as a Maisa, Rebbe reverses his decision, said it was a valid sale, like Rosh Lil. Rav Dimi Masni Hafi. That was the version Rav Dimi had. Rav Safra Masni Hafi. Rav Safra had a different version. Maisa Ubikesh Rebbe Lasik the Rechom. Rebbe didn't actually pass the Khamim. He wanted to pass in the Chama. I'm not the father of Parta Benosha Elizabeth and Parta Ben Benosha Rebbe Parta Godol, right? This Rebbe Parta came in front of him and said, "Wait, what are you doing?" He came out called based in Yafet. What are Hashem Lido Shrita? Lost a Rebbe as a Maisa. Based on what Rebbe Parta said to him, he did not go forth with reversing the sale. Lema Hakam Ifli. Let's say what's the Machlokas between Rav Dimi and Rav Safra's versions? Mar Sar Tzav Savar Tavidar Mishnah Chose. Right. The first opinion Rav Dimi held. Right, that if you're told with our mission, you made a mistake, so then you have to reverse decision. Mar Stavar ain't no chose. Second version is he didn't actually paskin because if he would have paskin, well, even if you're told with our Mishnah, seemingly it's obvious from the Mishnah who paskin the Shimon Leel, so ain't no chose, we would not be able to retract the ruling. So therefore, his version was that he wanted to, but didn't actually paskin like that. So the Mara says, no, lo, the Kuli Alma told our Mishnah chose, really, the way we paskin it, it's something that's obvious from our Mishnah. We would retract that psaq Allah. It's just they're arguing about what happened, right? According to Rav Safra, um, he, his record of what happened is that he didn't actually give the psaq Allah to validate the sale, to reverse the sale. Amr of Yosef. Yosef says, Amr of the Zabina Achrayas Ayasmi. Based on Zabina Achrayas Ayasmi. Right? And Almana can sell her husband's property from Mizonos. For her ksuba, right now, the property of the husband could have a lien on it. He, he, someone could have, right? The father could have borrowed money from somebody else. So therefore, let's say she sells a property, <clears throat> and someone collects a balco come and takes the property, has a lien on that property, right, from the seller. So now the person who bought the property, he had a guarantee when he sold, and he bought, he bought it with a guarantee. Who does he go back to retrieve his money? He goes back to the Asomim. 
the heirs of the father are based in the Zav and also based in the sales of property. Like we learned in the Mishnah, they could sell also his property. Similarly, the buyer, if someone took the land from him, can go back and retrieve his money from the Asomim, Pshita. This is obvious, why not? If he sold it with Achrayas, of course, the Asomim are the ones with the estate of the father. You're right, the first half of the statement, Almana, is obvious. It's a replay Beidina. The Chiddush is for the second half of the statement, based in the sales. Mao the same, well, you might have thought, at the top of Kofam Abeis, called the Zavin, the Beidina, Adaita, the Mebak, the Kalo, the Zavin. When everyone's based in sales of property, now we're talking about, if you know that, you know, people can't pay their mortgage or something like that, so the bank will seize a property. And they'll have a foreclosure, right, where they'll auction it off to the highest bidder. Um, that's a public, it's a public uh, event, you know, where they're auctioning off the house. So therefore, if a person buys from based in, right, and there's a call, meaning everyone knows about it, and the fact that no one stepped forward shows that, right, they basically waived their achrayas. They waived their right. If someone would collect, right, they assumed no one's collecting. So therefore, they waived their achrayas, right, to their guarantee. And therefore, even if someone would come afterwards, they can't retrieve the money from the Asomim. Kamasla, nonetheless, the achrayas remains, and they can retrieve the money. Omer. <clears throat> Shingli argues on our mission. He says, Even if it's more than a sixth or less than a sixth of the value, <clears throat> the sale is valid. Until when? I mean, what? If you sold a property that's worth a million dollars for a dollar, like Mr. Beast does? <laughs> I think he has a video where he had a house. I don't know what the house was worth. I don't know, a couple hundred thousand dollars. He sold it for a dollar. One of his most famous videos. Ad kama, Amar of Huna, Bar Yuda, Amar of Sheish, is Ad Palga. They can make a mistake up until half the value. Either they sell it for double, or they sell it for half. Now, I, I, it's hard for me to understand when they sell it for double, why would you want to go back? Obviously, the person who wants to reverse the sale is the buyer, not <coughs> the person who sold it, not the, the not the Yisomim who owned the property. Tadi na mihachi, Amar of Shingo, Lil, based in Shema Kushava Maasayim, Amano, Shava Mano, Maasayim, right? They're off by either double price or they have the price, Mechra and Kayim, then the Mechra is Kayim, obviously stating these limits that if it's more than a half or less than a half or more than double or less than a half, so then the sale is invalid even according to Rosh Hashem Galil. Amar HaMemor Mishmeda Rav Yosef based in Shemachu below HaKrozo based on that sold the property without announcing it, right, an auction. That's what we're talking about in the Mishnah. We'll see Shum Adayonim. They're auctioning off the property. Shemachu below HaKrozo. They didn't, they didn't announce it. Nasuk Mishatobit Var Mishnah Vichodran. Right? Then that's something obvious that you have to do Hachraza. We'll see the Mishnah that says you have to do it. And then the deal is invalid. Nasu somewhere says Nasu. What do you mean Nasu? We're telling you Khidish Vaday To. They right, it's not Nasak Mishato. It's not a Khidish that they were told. It's Vaday To. This not where's the Mishnah? Shuma Yasom Shloshim Yom. If Basin wants to sell a property of of Yasomim orphans. Right, the orphans don't know how to sell the property of their father, so they have to announce the property for 30 days. If you want to sell a property that belongs to Hektish, Shishim Yom, you have to announce it, the auction, for 60 days. Machriz and Boker of Erev, they make an announcement in the morning and at night every one of those 30 or 60 days. So you see, when you sell off the Yisrael's property, Basin has to make an announcement. And whereas Ima, he, from that mission, Erechen, Hava Mina, Hanimi Yishliach, that's talking about a Shliach, an agent, a real estate agent. All based in low. Based in themselves, right? They're a based in, they're a bank, they're a bunch of Rabbanim, they can do whatever they want. Kamash Mulan, no, Kamash Mulan, they have to do Hachraza. And when our Mishnah says Shuma Dayan, it means they do Hachraza for the Assalam 30 days in the morning and night, in the afternoon and night. Asive Ravashi, Lamema Ravashi, Asamemar, Shuma Dayan, Shapixu Shus, O Siru Shus, Mechon Bato. Mishnah says, right? According to the Chamim, Right, if it's a sixth off of the price, so it's batel hashava b'shava mechran kaim. However, they sell it for the fair price, so it is a good sale. My love lo achros isn't our mission talking about where there was no achraza, there was no announcement, and that's what we're saying over here. If you didn't do achraza, even though you got the fair price, the deal is batel. It says lo b'da achros. Our mission is talking about where there was an announcement. For thirty days, how would safe of achros? But from the end of our mission, talking about where there was a uh, hachraza, have you raised up the achros? 
obviously implies at the beginning of the Mishra was talking about that where there was no Akhraza, the Tani Seifa. The end of the Mishra says, also Geras Bikoris. Geras Bikoris is a letter of inspection. They inspected it, they did an official appraisal. Afilu Machra Shava Mana Bamasayim, Shava Masayim Bamana Machran Kayim. Then it's valid. Right? And that's talking about, they obviously did an appraisal in order to do an auction and to auction it off for the fair value. <clears throat> Ella, the Gemara says, really, the race is low, 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 low. Talking about, like we said before, where there was no Akhraza. And still, the sale, if they sold it for the fair value, it would be good. Low Kasha. How do you resolve the difficulty? There's two types of things. Some some property, some some possessions of the assaultment, you have to do Akhraza. Some you don't. For example, and certain things you don't have to do Akhraz about them. How about them? That metal and vashtaros, right? Our mission, which says that if you sold it for a fair price, even though there was no Akhraza, it's a valid sale. Talking about where they sold off not real estate, they sold off slaves or metal or movable objects, vashtaros. Avodim time am I. Why don't you announce by Avodim? Shema Yishma over Yibrahu. If they hear they're being sold, they're going to run away. They'll seize the opportunity to run away. Metal and vashtaros, Shema Yignavu. If they tell people in advance we're selling or we're auctioning off you know movable objects or staros people are going to know that they're being held for safekeeping somewhere they're going to try to steal it we buy Zema, an alternative answer in certain times you do a hachras you do you know a public auction sometimes you should you don't when you need the cash immediately for example to pay off taxes a head tax or the mazone or for food that the Yisoma need or the Kvura to bury someone, right? We sell property even without an auction. We get a, a lower price, but we need the money right away. And that's what the mission was talking about. It depends. There certain places you do Akhraz. certain places the Minak was not to do Akhraz. They never did an inspection to appraise in a property and to do an auction based on that appraisal in a Harda. Sovereign Mina, they thought the reason they didn't do it in the heart of Mishun, the Bikhi Bishuma. In the heart that everyone knows the price. Even a regular person would know the price. They were all into real estate over there. In the heart that had beautiful houses, beautiful mansions. Everybody knew the price of real estate over there. I'm only Rav Yosef, Barman Yumel, the Didim of Farshli made the Rav Nachman. Yosef, Barman Yumel said, No, Rav Nachman told me a different reason. Mishun, the Karlu, Bene Achli, Nixi, the Achrazda, right? When normally a bank forecloses on a property and they sell it for a, for a price that's less. Than the going rate in the market, because they want to get it off their hands, they want to auction it off to the highest bidder, which usually be less than the real the going rate in that in that city or in that state or in that town. Uh, people in the heart though were very, you know, they were very jealous of other people, and they say, "You were one of those people that 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 ripped rip rip the bank off or ripped the person off." You know, the assumption or the bank is acting on the half of. The assumption, or when a bank foreclosed on a property, they're acting on really behalf of themselves. But you know, when, when a basin is acting on behalf of the assumption, so you know, and they're going to sell it for a discounted price, so you're losing out for the assumption. They're going to they're going to say bad things. People have bought it. You're ripping the assumption off. That's why in a hard uh, where they had bad mouths, so therefore they wouldn't make a crust. That's what Mishnah is talking about. I remember Yudam Shmuel, Metatul and Shali Shali Assumption, Shaman Osan Umokin Osan Alter. Right when it comes to the movable objects of the assumption, we appraise them and we sell them right away, as opposed to like our mission says, shuma da yonim. Technically, you have to do achraz. You have to if you want to auction something off. You have to <coughs> announce it like the mission Erechin says for thirty days. When the you don't have to. Rav Chista Maravimi Mokran on the shvakim. He says you sell them. You can sell them probably right away. You have to sell them or at least wait till you sell to the marketplace people. To, to realtors, meaning the people that are um, the retail business, the shvakim, I guess you have to sell it to people that are in the retail business, where you know they'll buy it for a higher value than other people. Below, please, these two statements don't argue with each other. Had the mikra shuka, had the mikra shuka. If you're a place close to a public marketplace, you can easily transport the items there. So then. You sell it to the shuk if you're far away from it. You live in some remote place, so then you can sell it right away. Or if Gahana, he had some beer or some beer of Masharshia Balki 
Barakita Yasma. He was a Yasma, an orphan. I guess the rabbis sometimes acted as a base and they were in charge of his Nechassim. Shaya Ad Rigla. He kept the beer until the regal where it would sell for a higher price. Amar Afal Gab the Nafal Be Isista. Even though it might actually go spoil, Maisi Zuza Karifa. If he would be able to sell it uh, during the regal, he would get people who would hand over money quickly. They would hand over, you know, not just shkolim, they would hand over dollars and dollars and euros. Ravina Haviyadi Hamra de Ravina. Zuta Yasma. Ravina also had some wine that belonged to a Yasma. Bar Akse was actually his nephew, the, the son of his sister. Havaladide Nami Hamra. He also personally owned himself wine. Al Kamasigle the Sikhra. He was bringing it on a boat to a different place. Sikhra, he was going to sell it at a higher price. Can I also treat the wine of the Yasom like this and bring it on the boat where the boat might capsize and the, the wine will, will be lost? Amale Zil Lo Adif. He's not any better than you. If you're willing to take the risk for your own property, certainly for the Yasum's property, you know, you don't have to worry about other people's property as much as you have to worry about your own property. Chiddush to most people. But, so he says, if you're, if you're willing to take the risk, you can take the risk also by the property of the Yasum. That's the illusion of today's share. Stay tuned for a very important email of Ben Sion where we discuss different ways of selling off property, you know, different than a real estate agent and an auction. Um, we're going to use that distinction to answer a question between yesterday's DAF and today's DAF. Stick around, coming up next.